Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series. So today I'm going to show you how to get the closest knob uh, to the hang. So the character, even if there are multiple hanging points in the wall, the character will get the closest one and hang on to that. Like this, without any confusion. And also I have done some modifications to start in the hanging by adding some uh, jumping onto ledge montage and yeah as always this episode is also sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me so at the moment uh, for my hanging up animation uh, I don't really have an animation it just uh, goes to the hanging idle state just uh, blending into the hanging idle state without any jumping and hanging on to the uh, ledge part animation so today I am going to use a different animation montage for that and well let's see what other options we have here what about this one I can use either this well at most of the time when I start the hanging on part I'll be in the middle of the jump so yeah, let's first try using this and see how it goes then after that let's if it is okay we will stick with that otherwise let's try another animation I'll download this without a skin and I need blender to add the root bone and convert this to according to my animation rig I download this one also And here in the blender, let's go to this mix armor plugin and convert these animations. And let's import these animations into a project with the night skeleton I don't need to import mesh uh, let's first try this animation I think I should start the animation montage here well let's see I'll create an animation montage and where should I play this mm -mm. let's open the human character and uh, Yeah, here. This is where I move my character to the 
let's show hanging location yeah right here let me take some room here I need to play animation montage and I'll select this uh, wait where yeah. this one let's see how it looks Actually, I think it has some impact. Just see. So when I play now, uh, there is some speed of the hand movement. Just uh, let me show without this. Just to see what happens. The hand movement is very slow there. Right. I think it has some impact. Even though it's not that visible. I think that do some good. Alright. So I'll keep this. Let me show you it again. Okay. And one more thing, I think my character should be able to hang on much uh, much higher <laughs> ledges because so let's see mm -mm. yeah here. instead of using just 50 yeah let me enable uh, this uh, debug lines and see with the area that uh, this trace happens okay that's the area and that's not enough so I'll increase the radius to 200 and this to 100 all right let's see now what happens Better now. Can I hang it here? Right. One. Hand sign to change. Alright. Okay. Let's uh, move this further up. And see how the character behaves <gasps> all right <gasps> is that too fast Okay, that's fine. And you, I think you noticed the problem happened here. Here, uh, the hands are interchanged. That's because 
there should be some rotation in this object so to fix that let's see I think yeah I should keep this aligned to normal enabled and I should disable this random yo now I'll delete this all and then place them again like this all right now every now all the knobs are behaving in the same way so now I can do this in the knob all I need to do is change in these locations LH to RH and RH to LH So in this way, I can make sure that uh, my hand eye case will behave <gasps> correctly always, like this. <gasps> Alright, so in the next episode, wait, what happens if I jump here? It goes to here, and here it goes here. Okay, that's a little bit unpredictable. So, how can I deal with that? Well, let's see. I think I should use the closest knob. So, here I get an array so yeah let me do this okay now I'll define a function Do this for each connect it like this, and then I'll collapse this to a function get closest node. right now here I'll split this no, I'll split this like this and I'll define but here I can get the impact point and I can get the at uh, location as well. Then I can get the vector length. So this is the. I'll promote this to a variable. I'll call it distance. Or uh, it should be a local variable. Can I move it just? No. From our to local variable. Distance. Ok. 
okay and I will set the default value to something very high right and let's do a branch if if this one is smaller than turns true if a is less than b if this one is smaller than distance I'll set the distance value here and I'll promote also promote this one to a local variable I'll call that knob processed knob I'll set it as well and when it is completed I'll add a return node here I will return whatever the knob I have here like this processed knob compile all right now let's go back to check knobs and right here here oh wait yeah I'll get this and break hit result and for this impact point I'll use this one for this index I'll use this one and for hit component I'll use this and I'll get rid of this all right let's see what happens now <gasps> right <gasps> right okay now <gasps> I go to the closest no no matter what all right I think that's fine now and I'll stop this episode at this point and thanks for watching if you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link could be in the description below. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye.